welcome back. It is another day and another unboxing. So last week I talked a little bit about opening my first ever sea parcel shipments from Amiami. Well, that day is today. I'm so excited. It took three months for these boxes to get here across the ocean from Japan to the United States. So really excited to see, you know, how these boxes made it through and see if the, the packaging is fine, everything is fine. I'm super curious. So let's get to unboxing. All right, now before we get to all of our AmiAmi orders, I really want to open this B-Style Hestia Bunny version figure. I purchased this from Solaris Japan and it's just been sitting in my room waiting to be opened. So finally, it is time to unbox this giant beauty. So I bought this pre-owned in B condition. Let's open up the box, see what she looks like. Pulling out the blister package. And the inside has this really nice pattern. Opening it up first glance, she is gorgeous. I love her expression. She is well protected with all of the bubble wrap and plastic. So removing her, this is what she looks like without her ears. Pretty cute actually. Love her stockings. Looks like maybe there's a little stain on her leg. Not quite sure. Taking out the ears. Super cute. Love the subtle blue shading on the tips. I love how her white bunny suit has like subtle metallic sparkles and there's baby blue shading throughout. Now here is a 360 view from the show, Hestia is really small, so when I got this quarter scale, I was expecting it to be pretty small, but she is actually quite hefty and very heavy. They captured her expression so well. I love how her hair is also black, but has blue shading. It's beautiful in person. I love the fishnets, her ribbon that goes all around her body. She's overall a stunning, B-style addition to my collection. And next to Soda Can, you will see she is ginormous. Moving on to my first AmiAmi box for this video. Now I bought this sea parcel, waited three full months, but it is finally here. Let's see which one this is. Okay, this is my Madoka B-style, keeping in line with the B-style theme. I am so, so excited to unbox this and see what she looks like. Oh, the box art is so beautiful. I love the pink and the white. Uh, <laughs> and Snowflake. Snowflake is very protective of my box. <laughs> so opening it up, the suspense is killing me. Legit three months of suspense. But oh, first impressions, I was so excited. Wow. Stunning. And this is my first standing beast out that I'm that I've unboxed. So wow, gorgeous and large. This is the clear plastic base. Removing her from her box. Now, unfortunately, I didn't notice this, but if you can see there, yes, that part did not come attached, unfortunately. Broken transit. Oh, so much pain and suffering and yeah, I thought maybe I could just stick it in there, but a lot of the paint around the hair is actually scraped off too, so... Back into the box she goes. Anyways, moving on to box number three, another AmiAmi box. This was also Shipsy Parcel, same month, took three months. Just got this, opening it up. I have two clear files of the quintessential quintuplets and of Eurocamp. Let's see what else is in this ginormous box. I have a Mikasa acrylic charm and two sets of Nendoroid easel stands. Been waiting so long for these. I have a miniature Nadeshko figure. As well as this Atelier Riza figure. Uh, which also came with a bonus. Next up, I have a pre-owned Chica, the cat version Aniplex figure, which I found on Omiyama's pre-owned section. 
And finally, I have this Shiro wall scroll. Just double checking to make sure I didn't forget anything. It's been a while since I've ordered these. First up is this beautiful kimono version of all of the quintessential quintuplet beauties. Love it. And I also have this Eurocamp scene of all of the girls looking up and enjoying the view. So cute. And also Chico hanging out. <laughs> I love that the back looks kind of illuminated. Alright, so I won't be unboxing this figure because I'm planning to unbox all of my Kaguya-sama merch in a later video. But this is a B plus slash B pre-owned Aniplex figure of Chika Fujiwara from Kaguya-sama Love is War. Super excited to take a look at this later. Next up, we have a B2 size wall scroll of Shiro from No Game No Life. I love the colors and the flower petals. It is stunning. And following up with that, I have a plum minifigure of Nadeshko from Eurocamp. She's so precious and I loved this tiny figure. I don't know, this is the smiling version and she's holding a miniature Mount Fuji. She looks so happy and I am just so excited to stare at this every day, especially if I'm having a bad day. <laughs> so much detail packed into this tiny thing and we have the atelier riza figure which also came with a bonus now i did buy this pre-owned but i think it was pre-owned a slash b so it was unopened opening up this clear poster of riza it is so cool i have never had a poster like this the material is like a plastic it's hard and kind of transparent the art is beautiful. I just need to find out where to put it up. <laughs> and taking a closer look at the box of the figure itself, I love the pictures of what you're going to see inside. I love the gradient of the box itself. It is beautiful. Now we're moving the blister packaging, opening it up. First glance, she is stunning. Um, yeah, they definitely sculpted her thighs very, very well. <laughs> very careful attention to detail was placed there. Overall, I was pretty surprised that the figure was very light. The staff is also super detailed and beautiful. I did not find any paint flaws on mine. And the base surprisingly is kind of like hollowish at the bottom very very light and so vibrant colorful i love the little daisies assembly was really easy and here is a 360 view of riza she is from the game series atelier riza specifically she is from the first one there is a second one that came out kind of recently ish maybe not so recent anymore but just a closer look, she is so precious. There are so many details. Everywhere you look, you will find something new from all the different colored potions on her belt, hanging off the side of her pants or her shorts. The jacket has these be like beautiful metallic accents as well as textures, like the diamond textures. Overall, this is such a beautiful figure and I am so excited to have her. Next up, box number four. We are moving along here. <laughs> Opening this one up. Guess what's inside? If you guessed one Nendoroid, you are correct. <laughs> this is the little comic that came with it. And my Oiko one Nendoroid from Haikyuu. So excited. And I love this packaging. It's just perfectly tailored for an Nendoroid. Now, I won't be unboxing him today, but we can preview the box contents right now. I will be opening up all of my Haikyuu Nendoroids in a separate video. I just love that they add these beautiful volleyball accents on the Haikyuu boxes. So cool. Next up, another box from AmiAmi. This is box number five and the last one of today. This one I got shipped DHL because I was 
not prepared to wait another three months to get this one in. The card is really cute. I love Amika's design. First up is this adorable Yona of the Dawn acrylic art. Comes with an easel as well as this pre-owned figure. Taking a closer look at my first acrylic art plate, this is so beautiful. It's the whole gang from Yona of the Dawn. Comes with a plastic stand and they're just holding these really cute animals. Moving on to my figure, I bought the Amelia Tea Party version from Katakawa. Super cute. I specifically bought this for the table, actually, because I don't know why, but all of the Tea Party girls, Amelia's the only one with a table. <laughs> but anyways, I bought this pre-owned from Amiami, and she came in great condition. Taking a closer look at her, the details are so beautiful. They really nailed her hair as well as her costume. Her boots are shiny, or I guess they're her socks. Chair is beautiful, just like the Beatrice one that I unboxed a while ago. And this table, yes, we finally have a table to enjoy our tea party. And some white bases that I will not be using. <laughs> and here is a 360 view of Amelia sitting on her chair next to her tea table. It is so beautiful. Everything about this I just love. I feel like they really nailed her expression. The way she's holding her teacup is so dainty. The details in her outfit are just spot on. I love all the colors. She's just amazing. And here is my Beatrice and Amelia enjoying some tea together. And wow, oh my gosh, thank you for sticking around through this. Here is a snapshot of all of my AmiAmi orders from the past three-ish months. Wow, I seeing everything like this is insane. <laughs> and as a final part of this, I received a special box from one of my friends that I met through this channel. I am so excited to see everything in here. We're starting off with a bang. Justice Gundam, never built anything like that. Also a pop of Super Saiyan Goku. I love Dragon Ball Z. Who doesn't though, right? <laughs> we also have this adorable Ram Noodle Stopper. Oh my gosh, I love Noodle Stopper figures and I don't have any. So excited to start this collection. <laughs> also this really cool Attack on Titan whiteboard. I've never seen anything like that. A Walking Dead pop keychain, super cool. Some Attack on Titan buttons, love the art. And a Hello Kitty wallet, wow, thank you. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that, really. And I also got my first Black Rock Shooter Nendoroid, so exciting. And these cards were somehow magically tucked away in the Hello Kitty wallet and I missed it, but these are some beautiful Sailor Moon cards as well. And trying out my new whiteboard. I haven't written on a whiteboard since, I don't know, like elementary school. So this is so fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I want to take a closer look at insane Black Rock Shooter Nendoroid. I don't know much about the Black Rock Shooter series other than the characters look so cool. So really excited to have this one. And she has purple hair. I love purple. This is a match made in Evan. <laughs> excited to have this in my collection. And the surprise star of this box, this Ram Noodle Stopper. She feels like really high quality. I thought the horn on her head was an egg, but it's actually a horn. So that's cool too. <laughs> I love this so, so much. And it is also multifunctional. She can help me with my lunch. Perfect. 
And this wasn't planned, but Ram made a new friend in Levi move over Spongebob. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's a snapshot of everything I received from Sunny. Thank you so, so much. This is so generous and I am so excited to have everything here. Thank you. All right, I am so, so happy that I finally got these figures in from Japan, from Amiyami. It was a long, long wait and I... I don't actually think it was worth the wait. You save a lot of money shipping through C Parcel. Like I think the DHL equivalent, which EMS wasn't available for me in February or March. So it was either DHL or C Parcel shipping and DHL was like over a hundred dollars. And I was like, you know what? I can wait, you know, the estimate for C Parcel was one to three months. I'm like, all right, sure. Even if it, even if it takes two months, that's great. That's fine. I'll have it by May but it ended up taking the full three months. I don't think it's worth the wait, but for the price, everything does come. You know, the shipping and the tracking is up to date. I mean, there's no tracking information while it's in the ocean, but it does tell you when it starts crossing the ocean and it will tell you when it makes it to the States. So, and that, that period was about three months, but like you will have track information, your packages will be saved, your packages will arrive. Would I do it again? Yes, if I ordered too much that month and DHL is through the roof, but otherwise I'll probably try to go for EMS or DHL next time. So I don't have to wait another three months. <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for watching and thank you so, so much, Sunny, for the amazing package that you sent. I am just so thankful and I'm happy to have met you. Anyways, hope everyone has a great rest of their day slash week and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.